What's going on, everybody? So, this is a video about a network, a two-way radio network that is open to anybody that is using the apt RPT software. This network is, is free. Network is free. Network is using a software called apt RPT, also known with the asterisk. So for those of you that are on other networks that are, are using similar protocols that are in Linux-based machines, using things like Raspberry Pis or uh, desktop clients that have been morphed into it, this video is for you. Um, it's not really for people that are looking to join a network. It's looking for people that are out, um, already on other networks. This network has been around for about five or six years now, and it has evolved, and it has grown, it has shrank, it has changed, and it has died, and it is partially because of some people have left and went elsewhere. Well, now it's time for this network to start looking for people to replace them. I had the intention of starting this network years ago, this network being... GMRS link.com, the GMRS linked network, <clears throat> and it is an open and free network. Doesn't matter where you're coming from, if it's GMRS or even ham, I don't care if you have a call sign or if you don't. If you do, great. I assume you do because you're on. A network that requires one or at least uh, the illusion that they acquire one um, I don't understand why they're they're requiring it they're just a network where I'm hosting a network I am not hosting radios that's you <laughs> that's hosting the radio I am hosting a network and I give you guys the freedom to speak however the fuck you want that is why right here proud supporter of First Amendment. I like the ability to say whatever I want, whenever I want. Um, some people get mad because I play music. That is me. I will probably turn it around at the end. That is me. I'm giving a little bit of a rundown of the network. But anyways, so this, this video is actually intended for the person that actually has a node already on some of the other GMRS networks or even HAM networks that is running the Linux software once again. For those of you that have a node that do not know how to get into it, I will show you quickly on how to download a software that is free to be able to access it, to be able to do this. But first... You need to email me a couple of things, and my email address is located partially down this gmrslink.com. It says email, uh, join for information about joining email, and then click the word email, and it will pop up and give you my email address. So once you do that, you simply need to send in whether you want to remain anonymous with your node number from another network, because some other networks threaten repercussion for being over here. I don't understand why, nor do I care, but you own your hardware, and I have the, the, the belief that you own your hardware, you have the freedom to go where you wish. And if you decide to be, remain anonymous, you leave that in the email as well, along with that node number from that other network. <clears throat> you are going to be able to dial in to these networks, just like you dial your nodes around. Let me give you a quick rundown. For those of you that aren't, uh, we got the station status page. The station status page is going to show you who is all on the network. You could view that on your own. But if you want to remain hidden, keep in mind there might be people that are hidden in back of nodes. So that status page might not be as thick as some other ones. So, 
if but anyways put that in the email to me that you want to remain hidden put your node number and if you want your information on the status page please send it in the format of of your node number and then what you want to say after that node number and then that's it so send it that floor mat put your node number and do not you could put a space if you want to you don't have to just run it all in there right after it and I'll I'll put it on the status page for you it, um, if you're a person that's watching this on the network and you want something on the status page you can email it as well so anyways let's get to it so first timers don't know how to log in this is going to be for you this initial part skip forward about a minute or two and uh, for those of you that know how to log in and then we'll get you get it to it so click the software and hardware page here on the top of gmrslinked.com we're gonna click that and then it'll take you down here you're gonna go to what's called SSH software SSH I am not gonna click on it because I have already downloaded it twice as you can see down here at the bottom it's called MOBA Exterm you click the up button it will ask you to open the file that it is in I'm not gonna do that because I've already done it twice other times it opened it up on the other screen which I will bring that over here as well um, maybe it's just easy enough so you double click on the one that is highlighted when you click it it will ask you to extract it in the box I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it once it's right here you open it up it will install and it's a free software when it installs it's gonna ask you a couple of things you need to do a couple of things here hopefully the network that you are on gives you gives you um, your login credentials if not get that from them if they don't give it to you leave them all together you do not want to be on that controlled of a network so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click SSH or the the sessions then SSH you're gonna add in your IP address I'm gonna go over here because I've already done it once I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna edit session mm. well, let me edit the session it's like this computer's right click doesn't work so anyways we're gonna go into sessions hit add when it boots hopefully it gives you your IP address then you're gonna put in root and hopefully they will tell you what port number most of them I believe are 222 so you're gonna add that into it if you got a specific login number or login name that they assigned to you then get that from them as well put that in there when you click OK you're gonna it's gonna pop up oh, I'm on the wrong side here <clears throat> so it's gonna pop up and, and ask you for a password do not be alarmed that you cannot see the password the password does not show up when you are typing it in so it's gonna ask you if you want to save it I don't want to do a master key thing right now so I'm gonna say no all right so those of you that I'm gonna repeat this a couple times those of you that are jumping along that know how to log in this is where we're at for logging in okay so right here I'm gonna let the people that that have kind of skipped forward how to get into it this is the mobile Exterm software but when if you're using putty it's gonna look the exact same way <coughs> so at nine minutes I'm gonna go in at 10 
minutes into this video and I'm going to start showing you guys how, just for the people that have skipped through, I'm going to put it in the comments that I started at 10 minutes in. And we're going to do option number 9. Option number 9 is the bash folder. So, we're going to do, I'm going to, we're going to have that on the screen. We're going to type in nano space forward slash e tab gives you that then you hit a s tab gives you that then you hit r and then tab gives you that all right if you don't know what it is pause your screen we're going to move on <clears throat> all right so now here we are in the node we are logged into 10 101 so we're going to go all the way down to the bottom all the way, 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 there's 701, my private one, all the way, and we, I don't know if we need to go all the way down, I think we could just drop this in, but I'm going to, all right, here we are, we're at the bottom, this may or may not be what yours looks like, but the very bottom line is where you're going to add this in at, what you see here says nodes, 200, then the radio, or the equal signs, and the radio, and then the at, and then the 200, and the hop2.org. All this. Where is that? Right there. All that stuff right there. Pause your screen and write that down. If you want to remain hidden, let me know that you want to be remain hidden, and I will give you... A different email or a different node number other than 200 essentially if you change the 200 here the 200 here and the 200 here to one of our hubs that you will be given a list of you will be able to access all of the hubs that are on our network by adding it into this folder then simply control X at the same time Control X. And because I did not do any changes, it just took me back here. But if you did changes, you would need to hit Y. Yes. For yes, you want to make the changes. Then hit Enter. Enter. Then we'll bring you back here. Simply then hit Reboot. Then you would be able to, on booting, be able to dial into any of our hubs that you have added into that list. Welcome to the TGLN. It's, uh, been a, it's gonna be nice meeting you, and hopefully I'll hear from you. I'll turn this around.